She was brought here from El Salvador by some traffickers to be trafficked. She was 16. In the midst of being trafficked, she suffered a lot of trauma, forced drugged, forced to sell sex. She said, Miss Morgan, I, I stopped counting after 20 men. When I met her, she had already been placed in a safe house by the agent. She was terrified. She was also pregnant by her trafficker. As a victim assistance specialist, my job is to provide psychological 101 care, which means I'm making sure their basic needs are met, making sure they know they're safe, providing trauma-informed healing, help, and hope so that they can be willing to engage with law enforcement because oftentimes they don't trust law enforcement. I visited her three times a week initially. I took her to appointments, helped her with finding employment, helped her with a baby shower. After we got her situated, she got a job. She decided to leave her safe home and get an apartment. By this time, she's 18 years old, but when she went to her apartment, she realized she didn't know how to budget. She realized that she didn't know how to manage money. She realized the freedom that she had in an apartment was much different from a safe house. So those are some of the things that I had to help and teach her, even went with her when it was time to go to court. Sat with her in court as she faced her traffickers. I will be a friendly face and I will just coach them in breathing, helping them with their posture, helping them to stay focused. I'm a safe place to look at. She made it through court successfully. She was able to testify, face her traffickers but she survived it. And that young lady today is now again living in her own apartment. She has two children. She's living on her own with some transitional support, but not as intense. And she's learned a lot of great lessons and we've been able to help her in some great ways. The Victim Assistance Program provides trauma-informed care for individuals that have been victimized, whether it's human trafficking, identity fraud, we advocate for them, we educate, we provide outreach to the community. We also do anything that needs to be done as it relates to victim services. So is it a difficult job? Yes, but when you're called to do it, it makes it rewarding and it makes it worth it.